When we say we're tracking a spacecraft, that doesn't mean we're following it down the street to the shops. So what does it mean? Tracking can involve several things. Working out where the spacecraft is, receiving data from it and sending commands. We work out the spacecraft's distance by sending it a radio message and having it reply straight away. Radio waves travel at the speed of light, so the time it takes to get the message back tells us how far away the spacecraft is. We learn the spacecraft's position in the sky by measuring its angular distance from a known star or other object. Spacecraft gather a lot of data. This can be pictures or measurements of the temperature and pressure of a planet's atmosphere, the strength of its gravity or its magnetic field. The information is digitised into binary code, ones and zeros, then converted to radio waves and beamed to Earth. Large dishes catch the weak signals. We turn the signals back into ones and zeros and then into a picture of whatever the original data was, helping scientists make new discoveries. Finally, some dishes can also transmit instructions to a spacecraft to adjust its course, take measurements or turn instruments on and off. Spacecraft are the eyes and ears we send out to explore the solar system and beyond. We track them to stay in touch so they know where to go, what to do and when to send their discoveries back home.